Hello everyone! In this video I'm painting some jellyfishes. This is actually a redo of an older work I did, I think back in July. I didn't really like how that one looked, so I decided to redo it. Right here is just a sketch of it. I like sketching in red lead. Less messy than graphite, so... And right here I'm just showing off some materials. I have the radiant watercolors, salt, for some texture looks, masking fluid, and ink this time around. Some markers, just a little bit, and some a few color pencils. And right here I have my brushes, some mop brushes, little pointer brush, some smaller mop brushes. I really like using them for inks and watercolor. And then I have the crappier brushes for my my uh, masking fluid, almost said liquid latex. Speaking of masking fluid, I'm going to start off by covering up my jellyfish. Just a big one. And then I'll add a little, little, few little dots for bubbles in the ocean. Uh, the uh, masking fluid ended up going much better this time around than it did with my Flareon picture. I didn't thin it this time with water. It ended up coming off much easier than the last time. I don't know, I read somewhere online that it's less likely, less likely to rip your paper if you thin it, but I had the opposite effect. So not thinning it, not thinning it at all seemed to work out pretty well, which is nice. Started to get tired of ripping the top layer of my paper. And here I'm using my big mop brush and some water. I usually paint wet on wet with watercolors. So I'm covering the whole painting or the whole paper with a wash of water and then a wash of some turquoise watercolors. The whole background is in watercolors and then I do the jellyfish in ink. But right now the, the ocean background is all watercolor. So all the blues, a little bit of purple and black too, they're all watercolor. So my main goal for my background was to have a, have the ocean look like a nebula, almost. Kind of like a hybrid of the ocean water and the nebula. So I wanted the bubbles look like stars, and I wanted the ocean water surrounding the jellyfish look like nebula clouds. My theme here was basically jellyfish in space, so I wanted them to look like they're floating in space. And the salt I used to create a texture in the watercolor. When you put the salt on wet watercolor, it disperses and creates these little bubble-like effects. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but... I actually do a couple layers of watercolor. I do the first couple layers, let it dry, see what it looks like. And then I come back in and I darken it up with some black and I add a little purple. Uh, details in there. Those little blotches of purple here and there. And then I use some more blue and bring it into the center a little bit. Make it look like it's creeping in on the jellyfish. But I try to keep the water around the jellyfish as light as I possibly can. And here I'm removing my masking fluid. Try not to call it liquid latex, even though they're kind of the same thing, but liquid latex is usually more associated with makeup and special effects, but... The removal process for the latex was a lot easier this time around. Like I said before, I didn't rip my paper, which was quite nice, because that's always a big pain. Uh, but latex always does take a while to remove. I actually ended up skipping all of it. I didn't think it'd be very exciting to have in a video. It's only showed a small part. And here I'm working on my jellyfish and I am using my inks now. I didn't actually show the change, the switch from uh, watercolors to inks, but... Oh well, what can you do? So here I'm just adding in the details. Adding in my reds. 
Got my little, I don't know, my little diamond shapes, my little circle shapes in the little bulb. The big bulb of the jellyfish. I don't know, what would you call the top part of the jellyfish? I'm pretty sure it's the bulb. Or the bell. Maybe it's the bell. I think it might be the bell. I don't know. So I was originally going to do the jellyfish in white and red, but I didn't exactly like how it looked on my old one. Like I used some grays to shade in the white areas and I just didn't think it looked really good for a jellyfish. I like really bright, vibrant jellyfish. I mean, I know some are white, but I just thought the yellow-orange would re look really nice with, against the blue background, so I changed my mind halfway through and decided to do a yellow-orange instead of a white. The tentacles? Tentacles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're tentacles. I should really know my jellyfish anatomy better. I've researched them quite a bit and done a lot of work that revolve around jellyfish. I think I'd know, but anyway. The tentacles actually take a lot longer than I expected. Even with the inks, it was still a little harder for me to get the detail I wanted. I mean, I suppose I could have done it if I just slow down and took some less time. Took less time. Or more time. No. No, if I took more time. That makes more sense. <laughs> anyway. If I just slowed down, took my time, I probably could have done all the detail with inks, but I eventually get the base coat down and then I switch to my markers. And right here I mess up pretty bad. I got some orange on the blue the blue ocean in between the tentacles and I didn't really like it so I was like oh maybe I'll just cover it up with some black watercolor and that ended up looking much worse. I ended up fixing it off camera later. But it was a bit of a surprise. I desperately tried to get it off and it didn't it didn't work out at all. Oh well. I usually just go to my acrylic my acrylic paint to fix up any mistakes I made and they haven't failed me yet. Which is nice. Usually don't like acrylics, but they're good for fixing mistakes. I'll give them that. So here I'm just darkening up the orangey red parts of the tentacles to make them stand out more against the really light yellow parts. I'm just coloring in my little jellies. Not as much detail as the big one, since they're so small. I think most of them are yellow. And I have a few that are actually orange, too. I think only two. Yeah, looks like there's only two that are orange. And now I am making the switch to markers. Only using three colors. Using a yellow orange an orange, a regular orange color, or maybe no, 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 it's yellow, yellow orange, and then orange for the darkest parts, for the darkest, darkest parts of the tentacles, or is it red, is that red, oh no, oh no, I don't remember what I used, <laughs> I think it was yellow, orange, orange, and red, yeah, there we go. Those are the three colors I use. I'm pretty sure I had those out at the beginning of the video too, and I already forgot which ones I used. And then for little fine details around, I'm just using my color pencils. Little details on the tentacles, and then I'm creating like a light cast on the background on the big jellyfish to make it look like it's glowing. It doesn't really show up that well in the video. At least from what I can see, but you can see it pretty well in real life. And then I just use my color pencils to color in or fill in or draw draw in draw in the tentacles for little ones. Now I'm switching back over to ink and a toothbrush. I'm using this to create little speckles 
of white around the painting. And there it is. All done. I'm gonna zoom in and see. Yeah, you can see some of the little speckles I have around the painting from the ink. Just a little bit, not too much. I wanted them to be small, they wanted them to be huge. So if you if you look closely you can see them. I also added in a little bit of color pencil in the background, some white as a little added detail. And here we have a comparison of my old one. So there's the white and red. It looked alright. I, I did this the old one in oils. Came out alright, but I didn't really like the canvas paper I used for it. I really hated the texture for it. It was just myth. And I also didn't like how I drew the jellyfish for the old one. I really like the new one so much better. I just think it looks nicer. It flows much better. Well, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and you know, maybe subscribe. Have a nice day!